Make.com is a powerful integration tool and a great alternative to Zapier. In this bulk tutorial video, I'm going to show you how we can take data from Make.com. We've, you know, we've got other apps linked into it and we want to send that data into our bubble app. Now, remember that bubble is incredibly powerful at just being able to receive data from other um, other services, uh, but it may be appropriate to use something like make.com or Zapier in the future, uh, particularly if they have an integration in with a service that doesn't have a public API. Let's dive into it. If you want to watch more videos like this and you're learning Bubble, then do click the link down in the description because we've got hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos just like this one on our website. Uh, so we're going to go into make and set up a scenario. A scenario is a workflow or Zapier, Zapier would call it a zap. Uh, and um, I'm just going to jump straight to the key bit, which is that you can basically have anything preceding this point, And then you just need it to end in a, a HTTP request. And we can say, just make a request. You know, you can protect it otherwise, but we're just going to want to send data. So then we go into our bubble app and we need to go into backend workflows um, because this is where bubble is going to receive the data in. So if we go new workflow and I'll call this one uh, make demo, it needs to be public. You may find that you need to run without authentication and you need to run ignoring privacy rules. It really depends on what you're doing with the inbound data. Just remember that uh, when anyone as a current user in your app creates something, they are automatically assigned the creator field on that data type and the, the entry in the date in your database for that data type. But remember, if you trigger something to be created here, as a result of the API data coming in from make.com, there's no creator because there is no current user. Make.com has started off this uh, workflow, so there is going to be no creator field. Uh, so we can just say that uh, we'll put this into detect data requests and say detect data. And then I'm going to copy that. I'll go through here and paste it in, set it as post. Uh, and let's add in, uh, we can say multi-form and then let's add in our fields. So we'll say text and we'll say uh, name, value is Matt. Let's add in another item and we can say uh, email. I will say Matt at example.com. Okay. Now, if I go back into bubble, I need it in this mode here, detecting request data. Notice that it's got initialize in there. You only need that for this precise moment. We need to remove initialize from make.com once we're done. Uh, and also notice that you will work your backend uh, workflows, your API endpoints are uh, specific to the version of the app that you're working with. Uh, so let's go back into here and we'll say run once. Okay, that looks like it was successful. Um, we go back into bubble. Mm, not so successful there. Uh, what is there an issue? Oh, look, there we go. Something went wrong copying this across. Oh, look at that. That's a bit buggy. Didn't select the whole thing. There we go. Run. Save changes. Run. No, it contains unsaved changes. What's going on there? Uh, it's been a while since I've used make make.com. So what have I done here? Well, yeah, interestingly, you can do it on intervals. That's pretty cool. Uh, ignore warnings. Module, this module contains unsaved changes. And look, there we go, the data has arrived in. So what if I then want to create something with this data? Well, I'd go data, create a new thing. Uh, and like I said, I've, this is a demo app that I've used with loads of other projects, videos. So we'll just go with contacts and we'll say uh, first name and we go request data name. That's it. And email would be request data 
email. So, a few things to remember here. Remember that this contact that's created here does not have a creator field. So you may want to consider adding in a manual creator field and doing a search for and matching it to the right user and then adjusting your privacy rules accordingly so that both if it's the bubble creator field and the, and the manual creator field, uh, the same rule applies. Remember, if you do that, you'll need to check the ignore privacy rules uh, because you've likely got privacy rules stopping a search through all your users and making some sort of match. Like if you were trying to match the email address, you'd need to have that field available uh, to this workflow. Uh, the other thing to remember is that once we've initialized it and we checked it, it's all working, we need to remove initialize uh, because now it's actually in the state where this is just going to run. When make sends any data to this uh, API workflow, uh, this is what's going to happen. It's going to create a new contact. So there you go. Uh, that's how you can uh, take data from Make and uh, send it through to your Bubble app. Uh, if you've got any questions, you've got any ideas of, or videos that you'd like us to create, please do leave a comment and, of course, like and subscribe.